your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. It has been a little bit of a cool night here in middle Georgia, but we have been seeing clear skies and these cool conditions are going to stick with us into tomorrow. This looking out right now on the 41 sky view from the Houston County Galleria overlooking Center Park in Centerville this evening. A pretty quiet night. We're not even seeing gusty winds, so some good news there as well. But you take a look at our almanac from earlier today. Temperatures made it to 61 degrees. That is right around normal for this time of year. We're going to see another warm up into tomorrow. So we're talking about mid 60s on the way. You'll also note that we started out today at 27 degrees. I don't think it's going to be quite that cold, but temperatures will be going below freezing for many of us as we head into tomorrow morning. In fact, we're already down to 35 here in Macon. You can see that 41 up in Atlanta, 39 in Birmingham and still in the mid 50s in parts of Texas. Now that air mass that's out there, that's what's headed our way as we are heading into the end of the week. We're also going to start adding a little bit of moisture and mugginess in there as well as we're moving into the end of the week, which means we're talking about storms later on. But right now, high pressure has most of the East Coast is staying dry and clear, and we're going to keep that for one more day. So this cold air that's been in place for today, that's going to make its way out by tomorrow morning. It is going to be a cold start, but through the afternoon, we're going to start to see those temperatures warming up, like I said, back into the mid 60s. Now, this is going to be temporary as far as our dry conditions are concerned because the high pressure moves to our east and it starts to bring in that moisture from the Atlantic. So you'll see that get pulled in a few sh showers possible through the day on Wednesday. So be ready for the return of some rainfall, the return of some clouds as well. But really, most of our attention is going to start to be focused on this next system out to our west. So that's going to be including some heavy rain, showers and thunderstorms as we're moving into Thursday afternoon and evening. But ahead of it, it's really just going to be about that increase in temperatures to the 70s starting on Wednesday and Thursday and then also that increase in moisture. But tonight, staying cold, staying clear, staying dry, temperatures dropping into those low 30s by early tomorrow morning, but we're gonna keep the clear skies through the rest of the day tomorrow. Still looking at some sunny skies out there across much of the area. We could see a few high clouds in place, but otherwise expect to see those temperatures hanging out in, in the mid 60s. As we are heading into the rest of the evening hours, we will continue to see the potential for some heavy rain uh, through the day on Friday, but most of that starts to finally move out as we are heading later on into the week. We're going to get that front to push through. And as far as our rainfall is concerned through the end of the week, we could see just over an inch of rainfall through much of middle and north Georgia. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's a look at your seven day forecast from 41 NBC. We're going to see our temperatures hanging out in the 70s the next couple of days. But over the weekend, a little bit of a cool down will be on the way. Temperatures dropping into those lower 60s for Saturday and Sunday.